Okay, welcome back to Pro Fishing 14 here, and um, today I'm going to bring you guys a rig um, that I've been using lately. I caught a cold bass on the other day. Um, so, let me find lure. So the lure that I'm going to be using for this video, and I've been using for the last few days, is the um, Hydrator 3.5 inch um, craw bait. Huh? more I've been tasting it out all winter, but now I've been finding it more so uh, working, like working most. So just a little review of slash um overview. First of all, the it's pretty detailed. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go over it, the details. There's not through here, but to the other side. Uh, you can see that there's like a hole. Um, yeah. And it goes through the whole body except here because it's like stopped. But uh, it, the, if you punch it with the hook, it's gonna go right. Um, the with the setup, I'm gonna use the um, trailing sensation, Berkeley. The this is the um, uh, 2.64 um, kilo weight. I'm not sure how many pound test, well, well, uh, test pound test line that is. And uh, yeah, okay, so um, usually I use the owner hooks, the 316th ounce, um, yeah, bullet, uh, it's called bullet type, uh, which head, I don't like the bullet, using the bullet weight fingers because they go up and down, even, uh, and uh, I don't enjoy using the uh, um, weight stoppers, and I like these, uh, especially this model of hook, um, wait, let me get it out of the box for you guys, because of the, um, the fact that the it's really uh with us if you get right. So um here you get the the size is pretty much I guess perfect. Uh yeah. So it's like that. You see it. So uh, the way that I hook it and pretty much is the classic way that to hook this. You just get it from here. Uh. And we're there. You should be able to move it, the hook, pretty uh, easily by now because you, if you did it right, you like right in the middle, like this. You should be able to be uh, free to move because you've, uh, let's say, penetrated the empty area that gets crushed easily, like that. Yeah. So now you're gonna. With this like that, you guys can either. Well, let's say the way that I like to do it is like this, which is kind of the opposite of the Texas rig kind of thing. Um, but it's great. I like it a lot, like this. Um, right now I kind of messed up because it's too tense, but it, I think you guys get what I mean. Um. And that is meaning that the hook is going downwards. That's great because you can add another. Um, what I usually do, make it with this, like this, is um, a nice little smaller trailer worm type of thing. Like I don't know, like one of these yellow ones, or um, one of those case the reddish ones, which work great, and go like this. that and it becomes weedless um yeah this this is a great way to do it because it's uh, incredibly weedless and um when you add one of these little trailers things with a tail that um makes lots of vibrations in the water and it works great i like to swim like swim jig it pretty much uh such so thing um if you know what i mean like Make a jig like through the water. Um, there's probably tons of videos on YouTube, especially the Jojo Bars 33. Um, he's got a great video called um, "Swim Jigging Back to Basics." That one's just awesome. Uh, he, he explains pretty much the basics. Instead of using the the hair jigs like uh, for bass fishing, um, in this case I'm gonna I use a 
he's in Farsi Bass Fishing, which is, I guess, pretty much similar, because they, you uh, they get to feed, like, they, they feed on certain lures, and they, uh, they, they are active, and, uh, like, they kind of are similar to cat, uh, species to learn about. The other way that, um, that you usually, um, would put this lure on is by doing the same thing, putting it there, getting it here, and then like that. And the trick is getting into this little pocket type of thing, to, um, you know, when I showed you the, uh, earlier. Let's have it focus for a bit. Um, never mind. The camera is bad. I know. Um, so basically, you want to get hit into that pocket type of thing, and that'll do. Um, if you're more of the classic type of uh, way. Um, again, the details on this lure is are awesome. Like this, as you see. Um, beyond the legs. Like that. Uh, it really resembles like a crawl or a shrimp. Um. The legs and everything is pretty limber. Um, it's very uh, resistant and lots of stuff. So, um, yeah. So now I'm gonna talk about rather than this. Um, well, that I've been doing lots of uh, sea bass fishing because they right now they are pretty active. I caught a couple of um, those the other day. Um, decent size, half a kilo, and like another half a kilo. Um, they're really fun. Yeah, I usually use um pretty light spinning gear to do stuff, or or a um a uh let's call it a day casting outfit with a pretty uh let's say a soft tip um to be and not to but like um high action tip. Because I want that lure to be uh, pretty like. I mean, I want it to be pretty easy to move it and be really movable. Um, I had this other lure uh, while I was um, sea bassing, and uh, I lost this great fish. And um, this lure, even if it was made of plastic, it was a great lure. I got tons of fish with it, and it had um, awesome action. But now I uh, was one of those uh, great fish that I lost. I just want to show you how strong some of these fish are. So on camera, it focuses. Well, um, if you guys don't see it, um, here there's like a crack. It's all cracked. Uh, here and then here the, the eye is off. Here on the other side is. Um, or you can cut up say uh I don't know if you guys can see it. Um so basically it's pretty much all destroyed because of one let's say bite. Why will you not oh here you go. Right there, it's all destroyed and everything. And the yeah, eye was lost. There. So yeah, that lure was great. It's a friend of mine because they got tons of great fish on him. Uh, and another thing that the other day, since I went fishing, I wanted to do this. So I'm just um just had fun fishing, and I I just um got a couple lures out and uh, a couple that I had ordered online. One of this, these was the um, the Ozuri, uh I don't remember which one was it. It's the uh, super bright something. A great lure. Uh, more review is great quality and every, oh, everything. Uh, it's full, full glow in the dark. Everything of it. I mean, everything of the belly does, and the top just isn't uh, as much. Um, a thing that I'm not sure maybe you guys know is why would they uh, put a piece of wood like here? Should it focus? Yeah, there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, but there's like pieces of wood 
there instead of some, I don't know, plasticky thing. But, um, it, uh, on the other side, it's all gray. And that one, and this little shrimpy, shrimp head lure, which is a really, uh, midget, um, compared to my normal lures. Uh, like, this one is, like, a normal, maybe kind of smallish one. This one is just a tiny one. I just saw it and grabbed it to try and see how it worked. And I got a couple, col um, not a couple, got a cuttlefish, um, of these inside. It's around a uh, 100 grams, something like that. I don't know how many pounds that is. No, um, but it's, it was decent. So, not another short review on the min mini calamaret plombe, 4 centimeter, 5 gram weight, um, in total. So, the review kind of is saying that it's great lure for the small body and everything. What I am not sure, um, is why they made these, uh, uh let's say, uh, so, like, on, uh, the, let's say, the hooks. Uh, so unproportioned to the body. Maybe it's just because they. I, don't know, I just don't know. Because um, they should have made them differently. Maybe they just don't have double. Um, uh, how do you say? Double net type of thing. And only have one. Like that. And have this one kind of like. Put, laid back and made better. Because um, these, these things just won't hold on as good as a normal one. Would with, with a. I mean, with such of a. Such of a lengthy, um, let's say needle type of thing. But on the other side, it's great lore. Um, both are awesome and caught. Um, strange the, um, two squid, decent size with this one, and, uh, one, uh, cuttlefish with this one. I have no clue why they were, were still, uh, let's say, uh, around, because the season is over pretty much, at least in my area, um, for, uh, cuttlefish and, uh, squid but um on one of the cuttlefish that i caught uh I mean, the only cuttlefish that i caught with uh, was uh, pretty much um full of eggs so i guess that it was the reason to which it was just um like a late um bloomer, bloomer and uh just ended up and being a um just going and letting those eggs later on and getting caught by me so that's it. at the end of this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Uh, so yeah, check out my other videos.